And I, how are ya? The night seemed darker than usual as Mrs. Murphy went dogging for the first time. She was filling in as a favour for Craig, who was away in Tokyo on business, and she didn't mind. I'm sure Craig would do the same for me, she thought, if I ever had to miss the bingo, as she passed the shop window, wearing nothing but a smile and tights frayed at the edges, with a taste of peppermint on her tongue after smoking a pack of Benson and Hedges. She stopped to catch her breath as her breast swung in the wind on the bonnet of an old Ford Cortina, looking for Wally, the gangly Dane who was rail thin. He supplied hardcore porn to German businessmen, hidden in old record sleeves, mostly northern soul, washed out on parole. Mrs. Murphy at this time would usually be watching whodunits, not staring into freshly formed puddles, subtly adjusting her gusset. By the deserted factories emerging from the shadows, a milkman bumps up the curb. Puffing on his inhaler, he puts on a black latex mask, and he heads over to have a word. The two get on like a house on fire, and by now she was soaked, and so hopped on the back of the milk float. It took them hours to arrive at the site, and when they arrived they didn't have to flash their headlights. At the council car park it was almost daylight. Still she let them play with their breasts, especially one on the left. They dubbed it Mrs. Tibbs, and then head back to his. A modest, semi-detached and a quiet suburban street. Some chips were warming in the microwave, and through the net curtains they observed the brutalist concrete. They spent hours up in the bedroom, smashing their bodies together. When it all got too much and off the chart went their blood pressure. It took hours for Mrs. Murphy to realise the man was dead under his mask. He died some time after the chase had finished, and the Viagra wore off at last. She quietly let herself out the house after a quick bowl of cornflakes and a smoke of some grass. She just thought, fuck it, and itched her gusset, gusset. and went off to collect her pension.